Welcome everybody. Uh, this is Carrie Horning, Career Connected Learning Specialist with the NCESD 171. I'm super excited to welcome everybody to today's North Central Washington Most Valuable Partner interview. Um, as you know, the series is brought to you by Career Connect Washington and the Apple STEM Network. And just as a little reminder, uh, this series serves as an opportunity to both introduce and maybe reintroduce community partners with our educators, students, and other community partners uh, to the unique services offered, needs, and detailed information uh, that each entity uh, um, offers that we highlight. So uh, today's a little bit different. Uh, we're reaching out of our bounds and headed into the Midwest. Uh, I'm super excited about that. So um, let me just say that we're beyond grateful that you've taken the time to join us. Today's guest is with us from Generator. Uh, and as I like to say every week, grab your lunch, sit back, and get ready for an extra dose of professional nutrition. So uh, Tia Torhorst is our guest today. She's the Upskilling Partner Director with Generator. Uh, Tia and I had a chance to speak earlier this week um, and I stole a little bit from her LinkedIn. She's a self-described upskilling ninja and I totally believe her. So I can't wait for all of you to meet her. Um, her passion for her work is more than evident. Um, and I think we're ready to do this. Tia, are you ready to go? I'm ready, let's do it. All right, excellent. So um, let's start out just again, because we're reaching a little bit deeper out of our uh, local area. Tell us a little bit about Generator. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you so much for allowing me to join today. It's such a pleasure to talk with all of you and to share the exciting news about what's happening um, that we're going to be doing in the region. So Generator, um, it's spelled funky, it looks funky. Um, it is a startup accelerator in its roots. So we are a startup and we also support startups. So 10 years ago, maybe two guys named Joe and Troy jumped in together to start a business called Generator. And they did so after looking at where venture capital was being invested across the country and recognized that pretty much the whole central United States was being ignored. So if you didn't live in the coasts, you pretty much didn't have the opportunity to have investment from um, in large amounts from people um, who were typically doing that. So they decided to change that. And they did so by starting a startup accelerator in Wisconsin. And from there we've grown and now we are in over 30 country or 30 countries, 30 communities across the country. We have one international in Luxembourg. And sitting in Wisconsin, people always ask me if it's in Luxembourg, Wisconsin. <laughs> and I say no, the one across the pond. Um, so we are really thrilled to um, have this conversation here today and share a little bit more. In addition to the startup work that we do, we also have accelerators in music and art. So if you have aspiring artists and musicians in your lives, um, please also check out those two amazing accelerator programs. Um, they make me feel really cool on a weekly basis that I'm associated with the people who do the programming because I am not that cool and it makes me cool by association. So you know, our mission um, is to really um, help kind of communities retain and be the best partner for their best and brightest. And what that means is we envision communities achieving measurable and transformational growth um, through programming. Mm -hmm. And we do that in a bunch of different ways and we flex and change and iterate to kind of help communities do that. So I'm here to help share a little bit more information about that today. I love it. Well, I have to backtrack just a little bit because one of my besties is from Minnesota. I think I may have mentioned this and she and her husband are both alumni. So I have to say go Badgers and go Pack because we don't usually get to speak to people from the Midwest. So if I didn't give that little shout out, shout out I might get in a little trouble. So <laughs> well, don't forget about our Bucks, man. We're that's you know, right. this year. So that's right. you know, right. my nine-year-old who plays hoops all the time um, does not let me forget about that. Uh, I love it. All right. Well, good. It's good to have a little Midwest blood uh, in the mix here. So, uh, okay. So back to business, um, I, you know, looking over your website, as I always do before these interviews, I noticed there are a lot of different programs uh, and you kind of alluded to, you know, having, you know, the music option, et cetera, but what can you tell us, you know, specifically about the generator skills accelerator program? Yeah, absolutely. So, 
you know, you guys are fortunate enough to be a tech spark region. Um, mm -hmm. We are also home to a tech spark region in Northeast Wisconsin. And because of that, uh, we have had some opportunities to mix and mingle with Microsoft people quite a bit. Coincidentally, Brad Smith, the CEO of Microsoft, is a Wisconsin native. So his dad and my co-founder's dad happen to belong to the same Kiwanis Club. So they get to put a dollar in the jar every week to brag about their sons. And then after bragging about them for long enough, they decided they needed to meet. So they put them in touch. And from there, some really great things have grown. Um, we have kind of strategized with Microsoft about their investment strategy. We helped kind of set up a, um, in a big investment in Northeast Wisconsin called Title Town Tech around that said Packers uh, team that you mentioned earlier. And you know when they launched the Global Skills Initiative, you guys stood up at a really amazing program um, called Upskill. And they reached out to us through their um, TechSpark region, and we set up Generator Upskilling. And it's evolved a little. It's changed a little. Um, we've iterated after every time we've done it, but we've grown from just that pilot in Northeast Wisconsin to now we're in 13 communities across the country. And we are very similar to the upskill program that was running around you guys with one difference. We're mainly focused on setting a goal and that goal is getting people new jobs, whether that's a new job altogether or that's a new job within the company that they already work for, making more money and doing better things. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, we are goal oriented as general in company. We, on the startup side, we set goals to raise money and meet with venture. On art side, we set goals to get in art galleries and museums. Musician side, we want people signing with record labels or getting a ton of hits on Spotify. For our skills accelerator, we want people to get more money and get better jobs and start to think about lifelong learning. Yeah, absolutely. One of the comments in the chat was it's all about connection in the world of work. And it really is. Uh, you know, that's one thing, you know, we go around, we talk to these students and say, listen, you know, put yourself out there, get out there, introduce yourself and make these connections. And it's really true still of uh, all of us adults, you know, quote unquote adults as well, that, you know, the more, um, you know, the more we're connected to our community, which is, you know, interestingly enough, what this, you know, podcast is all about. So this interview series really is about, hey, listen, we have these amazing community partners. This is what they do. And this is how you might be able to, you know, receive some assistance or give some assistance to them. So uh, it, we are all connected, that's for sure. So that's very cool. And, I, you know, listening to you talk about it, uh, when you do talk about the music side and the art side, it does add, it does up the cool factor a little bit. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So wait a minute. Can you name drop? Is is, is there anybody that you can kind of? I know I put you on the spot. Oh that. yeah. So like I really am not this cool. Like so I can maybe. So and I'm not gonna remember his name, which is super embarrassing. I should like put it on a post-it note on my wall. But so during the pandemic. In Detroit, there was an, a musician who wrote a song and became a TikTok star. I um, and it's, I think it's like in your house or in yes, my house. Board yes. of my house, board of my house. Yes. yes. He is a G Music alum. Uh, so. That's awesome. That is very cool. I remember seeing after that fact that he, you know, took some of the proceeds for, uh, and, and actually bought his mother home. So I thought yeah. that was. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Way to go. That's cool. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and bring in, it, it kind of round this out a little bit. Um, so we're talking about the fact that you're in the Midwest. We're talking about what Generator is doing, but how come you're, how come I'm interviewing you today? What's bringing you into central Washington? What are you, what are you going to be working on locally? Yeah, absolutely. Well, and just, I want to jump back to one other point that you had made earlier, because it reminded me that um, of a stat that we often talk about and how we're all interconnected. And mm -hmm. one of the reasons that I think we've been really successful for the Generator Skills Accelerator is that connectivity and about 40% of people find their next job because of someone they know. Yeah. And it's usually somebody opening a door, somebody asking for the resume to just get a second look or kind of that extra push that somebody needs from the outside. And we're really that for our graduates. We will knock down barriers to help them get the job that they want. I have cold emailed so many CEOs 
thing. I run this program. There's an amazing person who just put themselves out there, got new skills, took time out in this incredibly challenging time to cut through the noise. And they want to interview with your company. Will you give them a chance? And, you know, I think that's really having an advocate is such a strong thing right now. And that is really, it's connectivity and it's, you know, kind of how we frame our work in this space as well. So why we're talking today, um, we're really excited. We're going to be launching Generator Skills Accelerator in Central Washington. Yay! <laughs> um, so we're going to be kicking off really soon. This week, the application will open. And then we're going to be, you know, kind of grinding and meeting a whole lot of you to make as many connections into the community, both to find people who need this opportunity, as well as to find local employers who might want to get into this network and help us kind of hire the people at the other end. But, you know, we're going to be starting off um, in March, or I'm sorry, I always get my M screwed up in May. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, we'll hopefully share all of this information with you in a way that you can share it with people. We'll give you the social tool. We'll give you an email that you could send out. We'll give you a one page flyer to hang up. But we're really excited to help spread the word about this opportunity and to get people um, some new digital skills and get them into better jobs. Yeah, that's terrific. So I don't want to jump ahead too much. But when that time comes in May, what, what is that process really going to look like? Because I know we talked a little bit, um, you know, when we introduced ourselves to each other to get ready for this interview, that this recording, because we are recording it and it will go out as a tool later, what, what's that process going to look like? So, you know, maybe somebody has heard about it, they, they find this link and they want to kind of dial back. What's the process going to be or what is it uh, currently if you're watching this, uh, you know, in the future? Yeah. So hopefully you have found your way to generator skills accelerator backslash central hyphen Washington, um, which we will share in a much more digestible format via a visual. And there's also a QR code. Hopefully you have scanned that and took yourself right to our application. And then that application, hopefully when you're filling it out, is super easy. You're just telling us a little bit about yourself, how you would like to be contacted next, and kind of where you're at in your life right now. It should take no longer than maybe five minutes. Wow. And from there, we're going to reach out to you and we're going to have a conversation. And we're going to talk about the goal that you have, and hopefully that's to get a new or better job. And then we're going to talk a little bit about what that would look like for you in the next coming weeks. So the first cohort of um, individuals are going to be they can take either customer service, sales, or both, ideally. Um, and then they'll take some additional classes, much like you guys did with Upskill. We offer things to help kind of round out people's work experience and get them really ready to tackle those challenges, communicate with their peers, um, and be successful in their job. So after they fill out the application, have a brief conversation with a career coach or a program manager, mm -hmm. then we'll say, you're in. And once you're in, um, we will start sending you information. And that information will include a tracker that you can let us know when you've completed some skilling. It will include some communication from your coach who will talk with you once a week and really is there to help however people need help. They are there to listen. They are there to brainstorm. They are there to help guide and come up with solutions that um, people might need in learning um, through the LinkedIn learning curriculum, or it might just be like, I need some help trying to figure out, you know, our family is a little short of food this week. You know, can you help me figure out what I need to do to be better for my skilling by having that weight lifted off of my shoulders? Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of their time to use to talk with that coach, however they need it. Um, they're going to have to do some stuff for us. They're going to have to put together a resume, put together a cover letter, create a LinkedIn profile, and do some mock interviewing with us on this glorious Zoom platform that it is. Yes. Um, so, and all of that will take, for this first cohort, about five weeks. So at the end of that five weeks, you're going to have spent about 15 hours a week learning with us. That will include all of that digital learning that meeting with your coach, and you'll get the opportunity to hear some experts once a week in a lunch and learn, which we'd love to have you log on live, but you can also listen to it recorded. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, and throughout those five weeks, you're going to do that for 15 hours a week. And at the end, you're going to get four LinkedIn learning certificates and then also a generator graduation certificate. But you're also going to have us on your team. So we're going to help connect you to employers through a you know, one-on-one -on -one concierge way that you can you know, kind of select from the people who want to hire from our classes. We're going to send linked links to jobs that are opening both in the region, but with employers that are hiring remotely that you can apply for and um, kind of connect in that way if there's not perhaps one that strikes your fancy in your region. Um, and then we're just going to help you in any way possible. So if they, you know, haven't quite found the right employer, we're going to do some research with you. We're going to talk about you know, how to do searches on Indeed and LinkedIn and good jobs and whatever else is out there um, to make sure you find the right next best thing. That is terrific. Thank you. That I mean, that that lays it all out. So when we're talking about that, are we seeing um, these are currently employed, uh, you know, quote unquote adults? Are we talking about high school students who are about to graduate? Um, who, who is who is that customer? Yeah, so for the ideal is unemployed, right? Like we want to help people who don't have a job, get a job. Okay. That can be anyone who has their high school equivalency to someone who's 85. <laughs> um, and, you know, we've seen it, everything in between. So, you know, if there is someone who has just ex had some barriers, whether it's been some justice involvement, some discrimination based on some physical or mental disabilities, some, you know, just some rough times and they're feeling a little down on themselves, this is the perfect program to bring to their attention and say, hey, check this out. It might be a great way for you to kind of jump back in and kind of have someone in, on your side that's willing to really spend that time with you and get you back into a job. Nice. Nice. So one one thing from my previous experience with Upskill is uh, I know that you know, those certificates oftentimes automatically populate to your LinkedIn profile. Since you're asking, you know, the the, the customers uh, or clients, you know, to to join LinkedIn, will that populate? You know, will that then kind of what we talk about out here is social capital bolstering? You know, um, the resume is is that going to work out the same way even with the generator certificate? 100%. Yep. We have a digital link that you can put on your LinkedIn profile to show that you're a generator graduate in addition to all of those great LinkedIn graduation certificates. Nice. Nice. I love that. Okay. Excellent. Uh, so um, tell me, I mean, we're, uh, we're already into March 1st, which is pretty unbelievable to me, but what is generator looking forward to in the coming, you know, the remainder of the year, 2022, what's What's on the horizon for Generator? Yeah, so we have some pretty big big ambitions and big goals ourselves. We want to really work with as many people as we can to get them new jobs. We know that employers are really struggling to find people, and we think we're really good at finding people that might be under the radar and not quite ready to engage in the traditional workforce systems or may have just kind of fallen off the kind of radar and are kind of complacent right now and hanging out there doing their thing. And they might see a social media ad that, you know, piques their interest on what could be next. And this is a great opportunity to do that. You know, we're hoping to, you know, skill a couple thousand people, graduate a couple thousand people in the next year and start to fill those gaps between what employers need and those digital skills that people are going to really be able to take and use to their advantage, not only now, but into the years to come. Yeah, that's terrific. So as I'm listening to your answer and thinking about this, you're coming into Central Washington with this partnership with NCW Tech and Microsoft um, and the NCESD, uh, which is, you know, my, my umbrella uh, company. But how, uh, do, I mean, do you see Generator then creating a, kind of a, a footprint out here and, and staying? Yeah, absolutely. So our goal, once we get a program fully funded, is to get a program manager in each market with two coaches that live there and can integrate into the community and really get to know people and kind of become fabric of that workforce and education system. You know, we really strive to build relationships on the pre-end and the post-end, and that includes everyone from high schools, colleges, technical and community colleges, um, to the employers, and really try to be of value to as many people as possible. We also want to get to know those traditional social service agencies and make sure that we're, you know, really complementing their work 
and providing a way for them to have value add to the clients that they work with, no matter what they are working with them on. So you might just be upskilling the Northwest version of Tia. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. Uh, all right. Well, excellent. Okay. So um, I, I, I want to make sure we do, we've got a few people live with us in the audience. If, if there are any questions, you can put those in the chat. Uh, you can also, you know, just if you feel comfortable, you can turn on your microphone and, and interrupt. Um, so, and if not, I'm going to lead into, you know, one of our final questions uh, and we can come back to some, you know, uh, you know, questions from the, the audience, if there are any um, but is there is there anything else that you'd like to tell us about Generator that we haven't covered yet? You know, as in my mind, I've I've had the opportunity to go through your website and I see you know kind of the depth um, you know of of the offerings you know, and I know we've just touched on the surface, but yeah, is there is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Yeah, you know, I think our success is really kind of toned in and keyed in with the rest of the community's success. So. While we are there doing this work, you know, having you guys partner with us to share the information, um, both with the possible skillers, but with possible employers, you know, connecting us to social service agencies is so key. Um, We're going to be doing a lot of work with the workforce agencies um, to make sure that they know about us so that people that may not be eligible for workforce services still have an option that's available to them. Um, You know, so kind of in my plea is to help us leave no rock unturned. Um, and if, you know, I can't find um, all of the great partners that are out there from far, far away, I need people on the ground to help with that. So, you know, please just kind of keep us in mind in the next couple months as this program is standing up and we will really look forward to working with everybody in the future um, more consistently. Yeah, terrific. Well, I know we're going to get you uh, next month. We're going to get you into the workforce science group out of Moses Lake and do some introductions there. And, and I think it won't be too hard, you know, to share the message and, and share uh, share generator around. So um, let's see here. Um, it, can you tell us a little bit about uh, I'm, I'm pulling from the chat. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the success rates of the skilling accelerator? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Thank you. I should have touched on that earlier. So in the 13 markets that we're in, we've done about 21 cohorts of um, programming. And that's ranged from this customer service and sales that we're going to be starting with to things in the IT space, like IT help desk, IT admin, sometimes software development, um, but we're still kind of playing around with the edges on that one just because of some employer um, issues. We want to make sure that everyone, again, gets that job. And sometimes that software developer role is a little sticky for um, uh, companies without um, undergraduate degrees. So we have had 3,000 people apply for our programs. Um, We've graduated 415 people. Um, that's a graduation rate of about 77%. So, you know, pretty good, especially considering it's been a couple, you know, there's been some things the last year and a half, you know, there have been some things the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, we do our best to work with people, um, to see if they can kind of, if they had a little bit of a pause, if we can pick them back up and, you know, help them graduate, maybe even a week or two late, Sometimes in a five-week program, if you maybe get something called COVID, you know, that two or three weeks is just really too much of the program to graduate with your current class. So we'll wrap you in next time. Um, Other times, you know, people get a job early and they're like, you know what, I need to spend this 15 hours a week that I had dedicated to this, dedicated to learning my new role. Mm -hmm. And we support them in that and tell them they can come back the next time. We want them to continue to learn and to always know that they're we're here for their resource. Um, so you know, people just drop out. It's yeah. Kind of how life goes sometimes. Yeah. Um, so of those people that we've gotten hired, you know, that's about or of the people that we've gotten graduated, about seventy percent of them have been hired into roles after three months. Um, which we think is really great. Um, In that 30%, you know, we're still working with them if they want us to. Mm -hmm. We will work with them as long as they need it to get a job. Um, Sometimes, again, life circumstances change. (laughs) The next wave hits and the moms are like, you know what? I need to just wait another round. (laughs) And I'm going to look for a job maybe when school starts again. Um, So, you know, we're always going to be there to support the graduates. 
Um, so, and you know, a thing that I'm really proud of is that um, of the people who go through our class, um, about 66% of them are people of color or women, um, which I think is really kind of emblematic of kind of the impact that this pandemic has had on people and kind of looking at who, you know, has been kind of disenfranchised from this time in our lives and the people who need our support the most. So I'm really happy and proud of that stat in particular. Um, so that's, you know, kind of some, some information on the program so far. Yeah, that's terrific. So, um, of the, the 70% that were hired, are those pretty much, is that 100% locally or are some of them leaving the area or is that pretty much a local, local placement? Yeah. So, it, you know, like much like we tell our graduates, like it's up to you where you want to work. Um, we're going to offer you both options to look at the companies that are in your region that you could work in person, or if they're offering remote, work remotely for, um, at the company next door. Or, you know, we also have about 400 companies that come to us who hire remotely across the country that they can look at the opportunities that exist um, to work for a company that may not be headquartered in their state. So, you know, it's much like a marriage. You can't force a, a relationship on an employer and a employee. You can't force a marriage on most people and have it be successful. So um, we really try and offer as many opportunities for collisions and really advocate for the skillers. If they have a, a job that they're really um, interested in, we'll try and help them get that. Yeah, nice. So um, in our area, I think it's really important, you know, that we make sure we have a lot of access, uh, accessibility to um, multiple languages. Uh, can, can they start skilling in any other language? Yeah, absolutely. So much like the great program you guys did earlier, Upskill, this is all accessible in multiple languages. Um, and we do have some Spanish speaking staff on um, the team who are ready to career coach those who are most comfortable in uh, Spanish as their native language. You know, and I got to say, like, there is huge demand for bilingual um, individuals in the workforce right now. So um, that is, I would encourage everyone who is kind of on the fence about getting back into the workplace right now that's bilingual to really think about it because, you know, we can find you some great jobs. Yeah, terrific, terrific. Ah, I love it. You know what? I knew today was going to go super fast. It always does. Um, we're really down to about three minutes. So uh, in terms of other questions, if anybody out there has any more questions, feel free again to either, uh, you know, interject or to put it in chat. But I want to make sure that I, I thank you again, Generator. I, I think it's super exciting that you're going to be coming into, you know, North Central Washington. Um, I know there's going to be some great opportunities. I'm excited, you know, to see kind of how that all plays out. Um, and uh, then, you know, once you get to this direction, we're going to have to show you a little bit about, you know, our Mariners, uh, our Seahawks, <laughs> <laughs> our Sonics, you know, we, we still yeah. love <laughs> So, no, I'm just kidding. I, I, again, I, Tia, thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're really busy trying to prep for everything for me. Um, it's already, you know, March 2nd. That's going to come very, very quickly. So thank you for taking the time, you know, to join us here today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. And, you know, I, I assume my uh, contact information will go out with further communications, but absolutely anyone who listens to this, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or anyone on our team. We'd love to talk more about the program. Perfect. Yeah. You can drop that if you want to, you can drop that in the chat, but again, because this is being recorded, we can put that out there uh, when, you know, when we deliver the link to everybody here, probably be um, uh, by Friday of this week, I think. So cool. awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks to everybody who attended. Uh, yeah. Tia, Tia at generator.com. And that eight is actually the number eight. So it's G E N E R eight T O R. Um, I love that. So anyways, yeah, thank you very much. Everybody have a great day and thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Have a great day, everybody. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.